So guys, I'm in Ruai right now. We are doing here a small project of a DSQ. On day two, we brought in some materials. So we were at 344,000 on day two. That is two lorries of sand. No, four lorries of sand. 120 bags of cement, two lorry of ballast, uh, steel bus, that is 75 pieces of D10, 15 pieces of D12, and 30 pieces of D8. So the total cost for day two, that is much. Then, before I continue, we brought in also the machine cut stones, that is 1,250 pieces and the foundation stones that is to eight feet so the total cost of all those materials they were amounting to 344,000 that is material plus labor because day one we used 18,000 uh, in terms of labor day two day one and two we use 18,000 in terms of labor day one and two so day three we did the casting the real casting of the strips so we used 17,000 in casting that is casting the trenches and the chuma the fundi for steel yeah the steel fundi so on day four after we did the we cast the trenches we started constructing the foundation stones and remember everything was there except the hoop iron so we bought the hoop iron at 3800 so on day four we used like 19,000 on day four that is buying the hoop iron and paying the the workers So day three, we start doing the footings, reinforcement footings, strip footing. So day three, we were preparing the trenches for the 200 Koroga. So we prepared the place. That's the sand, and this is the ballast that we are using. Then we lay the steel bus in the trenches. One, two, three, another you. That's the quality of the wall. One, two, three, another you. Look at the steel bus, the quality. Yeah. So the machine arrived. Then we started Koroga. We started Koroga. In every machine we use one and a half bag of cement, 13 buckets of sand, no, that nine buckets of sand and 13 buckets of ballast. That's the ratio that we are using so that the, the concrete can be good to bear the weight of the house we did the corona. and when you are doing the coroga make sure the strip the strip concrete the coroga that will bear the weight of the the house make sure it's 100 one, 150 or 200 just make sure it's 150 or 200 or in other case you can put more than 200 even 300 even 400 depending on the on the size of the house and how many stories the house will will take 
so I'm going to show you that the We have finished the strips. And now we were ready to set the foundation stones the mm. following day. That is day four. This is day three. Then day four, we started constructing the foundation stones. We set up the house with the foundation stones. These stones, they are good in foundation. Yeah. So we set up our stones. I'll take you step by step on this project until we finish it. And the project is small, but I want to see you people to see the the quality of the work that we are doing the quality matters the quality matters and your money is accounted for so we'll check we'll go through this journey all together so that you can understand and we can build this house together So we did up the setting. Make sure you confirm the levels of the foundation before you start doing anything. The foundation level is very crucial when it comes to construction so that the weight can be equally shared across the building so the level is very important when it comes to foundation so we finished up the foundation same day the house is not so big so the same same day we finish up the foundation and we start to we started backfilling and then we also did the koroga after two days that is day six on day six we do the slab we we koroga the slab concrete 